It is Fat Bear Week. I am very excited. I love Fat Bear Week. It is the only valid tournament that I care about. It is more important than the NHL and more important the, than the Olympics, in my opinion. Uh, and the TLDR of Fat Bear Week is that it is a annual tournament hosted by Katmai National Park. Basically what you do is you look at pictures of the bears that they took and you figure out who is the fattest bear and everyone votes and uh, then there's going to be a winner at the end of the week. Welcome back to Fat Bear Week. Uh, today is day four of the competition and uh, we're going to see some really interesting contestants this round, which I'm very excited for. Matchup 8 features the Femme Fatales, 128 Grazer, and Bear 909. The curvy composition of 909 isn't her only crowning achievement. She has conquered the complex craft of fishing the falls to capture copious amounts of salmon. 128 Grazer found a way to fill out her figure while fending off foes and feeding her family. Can 909's lip fishing leave 128 Grazer in the dust, or will 128 substantial silhouette send votes surging her way? Um, so yesterday my judgment was clearly off. It was I was not was not good yesterday. So today I'm gonna be try to be more confident in my decisions, and I have to give the win just by looking at them. 128 Grazer, she looks amazing. She is the lardiest lass out of the two of them, and while 909 has made some very impressive gains uh, between June and August, I think that Grazer just takes the cake. She is so just, there's just so much fatness going down, like her knees have just gone inwards. There are no knees present. Um, and so she's clearly got the win for me. Um, I think that, you know, if, if 909 wins this round, I will be very shocked and disappointed with the people. Yeah, okay, yeah. Grazer is definitely winning by a landslide. She is doing great. Um, you know, 909, I think you did amazing in the last round. Uh, you know, c congratulations for making it this far, but uh, today is not your day, so Grazer, you get the win, and uh, I, I'm excited to see you in the next round. So you might notice that I did it in the wrong order. I'm actually keeping the best for last because this is the most interesting matchup in my opinion. Um, so let's go, matchup seven. The Queen of Corpulence, 435 Holly, battles 32 Chunk, the Baron of Braun, for the succession of the 2020 throne. While bouncing around the Brooks River with his buddies, Chunk bulked up to pro to build a belly worthy of butta. 435 racked up the rolls by relentlessly reeling in salmon despite wrangling a rambunctious springer. Will 2019's reigning royalty 435 Holly keep the crown or will 32's chunks buxom behind banish her from the throne? Okay, so as I mentioned yesterday, I gave a little bit of lore. Holly has won before. She was last year's winner, and I'm actually going to put up a picture of last year's competition. She was incredible how fat she was. It was just stunning. And, you know, even if she doesn't win this year, in my opinion, um, looking at past contestants, she is the fattest bear of all time. Looking at them, it is a bit tough and I am tempted to give some extra points just because it's really impressive that Holly made it out this year. Um, there were some doubts. Uh, people were questioning if she would come back just because she is roughly 20 um, and uh, the lifespan for brown bears are it is 20 years old, so people were questioning if she's gonna make it and she's still here, so you know, we have to give her credit for that. Um, but just looking at them, it seems that she didn't quite reach her uh, maximum size like she did last year. Last year was something, just something to behold, a beauty, a uh, bountiful beauty. She was, um, just incredible. But this year she doesn't, she doesn't have nearly the same amount of punch as she did last year. And uh, so it is a little bit close. I want to do a little bit of analysis here. Okay, so looking at Belly hanging, his clearly hangs down lower than Holly, 
but she clearly has much more shoulder mass. I mean, look, look at this this just incredible shoulder here. And even as she turns slightly, you can just see this massive fold. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to congratulate Holly just for a second there, but, you know, now we have to go into the real um, uh, phase. 32 Chunk, you know, he clearly had a really big advantage over her, and I honestly think that it did pay off... Um, in this Battle of the Bulge. So, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Chunk, um, as sad as, uh, I, I would love to give it to Holly, but I do think that Chunk looks objectively bigger compared to her, as impressive as she is. So it's really sad to see Holly um, not claim the throne, not claim the crown, not be the Queen of Corpulence, but if we, again, she's still the Queen of Corpulence, if we look at her past victories and we compare her past self, if you look at all the winners, she is clearly the biggest. In the, on, in the last day, I'll show you um, pictures of past winners and we can clearly see that Holly is the fattest bear. 2019 Holly greatly outweighs 20, the 2020 bears, including her present self. And so it's really sad to see Holly not quite get there, but um, I do congratulate Chunk. So yeah, that is the end of uh, uh, day four's matchup. Uh, tune in tomorrow for day five.